Good morning, it's an exciting time for the SAIT consortium. Um, we finally managed to bring uh, our aircraft, uh, almost the largest uh, cargo UAV in Europe, uh, up to week. And uh, uh, it's a pleasure to have the director of the, the SAIT consortium and, and senior management here. Uh, do you want to just give a quick... Uh, what is uh, yeah, good morning. Well, it's an exciting morning. Uh, it's an early morning. <laughs> uh, we're, we're here at WIC. We're in the uh, sustainable aviation test environment. We're looking forward to the first flight. The first flight in Scotland. In fact, I think the first flight in the UK of a vehicle, a heavy lift autonomous uh, drone. So really exciting times. Uh, we've got the wind, or rather we haven't got the wind, which is good news. We're just hoping that the, the water... The rain, rain would help us. Slightly, <laughs> and then we'll be off for the, for the flight, which will be very exciting. We've been absolutely delighted that uh, our care systems have joined the consortium. And the, the real point of this flight is that we're looking forward to the future when we can have this uh, aircraft in service, particularly in this region, and help us with the connectivity challenges we have particularly to move uh, uh, cargo and freight around the islands and to some of the more rural communities that we that clearly we have up there. This was a successful test of the full-size prototype of the C600, which is the largest VTOL cargo UAV in Europe. Uh, we are very thankful to Innovate UK and all of the parties who supported us for this test and look forward for uh, BV loss test and also different use cases that we could use this aircraft and take it to the commercialization. I'm delighted to say that we've had a really successful trial here today at uh, at Wake Airport and it's it's the first of kind in the UK again and um, hopefully we'll, we'll see a lot more of this kind of thing in the future and, and hopefully this is just the first step in, in what is really exciting developments in aviation. Um, it's really is a, a good time to be part of the aviation industry. It's, it's, I've been in it for over 20 years and it's probably the most exciting developments is, is this last few years with novel types of aircraft like this and you can see how it really can make a big difference to people in remote and rural communities which is what we we serve so Heil is delighted to be to be a, a partner in this eight project and uh, hopefully we'll have a lot more successful trials. Hello I'm, I'm the CTO of Arc Aero Systems. Um, I have the pleasure of leading the team who've designed and flown the some UAV. Um, all the credit should go to the team this is a, a, a first for uh, the UK and I think in Europe being the largest UAV in uh, free flight and a civilian license. It's quite an achievement. Hi, good afternoon. It's David Holden from the Sustainable Aviation Test Environment. Absolutely delighted with today's successful first test flight of Arc Aero Systems uh, and their C600 heavy lift autonomous drone. We've had a brilliant morning here at a quite cold, quite damp uh, Wick Airport. Got a few thank yous to, first of all, thank you to the Arc Aero Systems team. A massive thank you to the Heil, Highlands and Islands Airports team here at Wick John O'Groats who've been out since early this morning. And a special thank you to the UKRI and the Future Flight Challenge for the funding and the opportunity. We can see the potential of this technology and we've proved the technology works well this morning and we're looking forward to flights over longer distances and beyond visual line of sight and hopefully see it's in service to provide benefits to the local community in the very near future. Thank you ever so much.